All kinds of amazing abstract designs can be created very quickly in Affinity Photo using the new 2.3 features, particularly using the stroke. So how to create something similar to this? Well, the first thing to do is create a line, a curve. Let's just go over here and I'm gonna use the pen tool. So pen tool and just click and you can see you can build up all kinds of different shapes and you can see straight away I've actually also got this lovely three-dimensional sort of gradient design. Well, how do I achieve that? Well, what you can do, just go over here, I'm just gonna select the Move tool, and with the Move tool, you can see I've got here a stroke associated with this. Got no fill, so no fill. So click here, and you've got a gradient. You can, of course, use a solid color. There is just the result of a solid color maybe blue, green, etc. But what you can also do is you can go here with gradients and you can create a variety of different gradients. So you can see this one has actually got some opacity here of zero. And this end, 100%. So you've got all the way through and as you go through, and now you can also add some additional colors here. So you can add additional stops and maybe some red in there as well. You can see a variety of different designs can be all applied to that stroke and you can modify the position you can just change that tweak it and you see as you change it the result is slightly different okay so just create a gradient on your stroke here this curve well, once you've got that what you can do is you can go here to effects so just click effects and with that you can go here gradient overlay you can add that if you want you can also go for 3D, so you can have a lovely three-dimensional effect. Maybe go here to outer shadow, so radius, offset, etc. So a variety of very interesting designs can be created very quickly just by going for 3D, like five pixels, and with that, click close. And now you can manipulate this further, so you might decide, you know, want it like that, or maybe like that, stretched. You can apply all kinds of transforms. But also you'll notice you've got here this little central point. You can set that by just going up here, enable transform origin. So just click that and you can see that clears. Well, with 2.3 and hopefully soon, of course, 2.4 is coming out at some point. So, and I expect later, obviously, versions as well. Hopefully additional features will be added to this. This would be really nice if it, it is improved even more. But you can see if you press return or enter on your keyboard, you get this panel up here and what you can then do is you can click here duplicate and you can see straight away just by adding one it just creates an interesting change but also you can go here and set rotation say two now if you do that what you can do is you can go down here number of copies create a circular design 180 so 180 and straight away you get something like that and you can then of course modify this further if you wish by simply just changing this origin point that's why I added this so you just move it here and reposition it and that will create a different design maybe go up there now unfortunately you can't change the actual nodes while this panel is available that would be a, such a brilliant feature if that's added in the future it will make this even more powerful as a feature so just going to go with that and click OK and you can see what happens it generates all these curves well, what you can also do is you can go down here, you can select all the curves. You don't have to select them all. You could select, say, half of them. Maybe select alternate ones. Perfectly reasonable as well. And you can go here as well, click effects. It's still live. You've all got effects down here. So click there. And now with that, you can turn around. Oh, I don't want the 3D. You can remove it. You could click it back on again. Or maybe go instead of that one, you could go for Bevel and Boss. So you can just change here the radius. You can see that creates a different result as well. Maybe remove the outer shadow. You might find it adds, makes it too dark. So you can put that on or maybe click gradient overlay so you can then tweak it even more. Whole range of different options. So close at this point. Let's just see the result of it. So you can see that's the end result of changing just a subtle change to your design. And again, at any point, select all of them and you can then select them all again and then again, click effects and decide, you know what? I don't want that gradient overlay. I just want the original colors. 
And Bevan Boss, I can change the profile. So I can just click here, just try different ones. And by just changing, now it's not going to be instantaneous. Sometimes when you change some of these things, you've got 180 layers. So it sort of makes it a bit slower. So, and click close. And again, you can see the end result. You may prefer the early ones, just undo. Undo, and that's that. Now, let's just go back again. Let's just do remove all those. So again, all you need to do always is just go over here and pen tool. So pen tool, just add. Thing. Now, if you don't see this initially, and like I say, you probably, by default, you might find, say, something like this. So color, you might get some design here. And with the stroke, click there, maybe color, and you might have, say, like that. Now, you're probably wondering, how do I achieve this sort of design, this sort of unusual effect? Well, it's here. Just click here, and you can go here, and you can modify this. So you might decide, you know what, you don't want that sort of design, you might want this design. So change the width, and click here, the pressure. And then you can just change this. And you can, of course, create for... Now, unfortunately, this panel is not... You can't resize it, so it's not super flexible. You know, it's reasonable, but you can tweak it, move these around. It's not as ideal as, say, a, a width tool in Illustrator. If you've got Illustrator, you've got width tool, you can tweak this infinite ways. This is good, but not as flexible. But you can create this sort of design straight away just by tweaking this pressure here. So that's how you create that. And again, to get the gradient, simply click on the stroke, gradient, and you can see you've got a gradient here. Now, the gradient you've got will be probably different from that. And, of course, you can vary it. Now, the end stops, they can't be moved. You've got the end stops, and you can always just change the opacity. So you can reduce the opacity down. That creates sort of an interesting sort of, sort of see, completely vanishes. And also, go up here. You can make it any colour you want. So maybe red or green or blue, whatever. Or double-click, add some more. Uh, maybe go for some blue, double click, and then add some other one. Let's go for a green there, and so on. So you can create some very interesting sort of line designs very quickly. Now, notice I've got fill still set here. I don't want that. You can always remove the fill just simply by going here. Just click this and click here. So then you've got rid of that. So this design, again, you can still manipulate it. Just go to the node tool. So with the node tool, you can go down here and you can click the line and you can just drag. You can click it so it actually adds another point, or you can just hover over it and just like that. So just move it around, and you can create a variety of different line designs very quickly. And once you've done that, you can then again press return or enter on the keyboard. And you need the move tool selected, it does help. Press return, and you will get this move slash duplicate. Key thing is the move tool. Need to be on the move tool. If you're not on the move tool, it's not going to work. It will just beep at you and say, nope, don't know what that means. So this comes up, and again, you can change it. You don't have to go for 180. I just chose 180. You could go maybe for something else, a so duplicate and rotation, say four. Now, I want, obviously, all the way around, so that's 360. So what you need is, well, you need to go for 90. So 90, and you'll get that circle design. Again, you notice you've got here, you've got this little, here, the transform, here it is there, and you can still, while you've got this, you can move this around, so you can reposition it, and you can create a variety of different designs, line designs, very quickly, like that. Lovely little design like that, so, happy with that, so click OK. And again, you've got all the curves. If I deselect that, you can see design a bit better. Now. There's always going to be slight imperfections. It's not going to be perfect. But what you can do, because of course things overlap, and you can select them all again, or select half of them, perfectly reasonable, and again, tweak it. Now you can also go over here and go to the no tool. So here's no tool, so here's no tool. And you've got here, you've got the stroke here. You think, oh, you know what? I don't want that gradient, or I don't like the purple or whatever. You can always click on that, and you can see you've got that, you can then tweak that, and as you do that, you can see it changes. It's live. So the green, you might decide, you know what, I like that. Maybe you can always delete it. So with it selected, 
And the key thing is it's bigger than all the rest. So just click, delete, and then it's gone. Or you can just double click again, maybe add something else, go for yellow instead. You might decide yellow's better. And you can then change it here as well. So click here, maybe change the width. And you can see you can create that, maybe slightly bigger. Creates a nice blurry effect using that slightly bigger 60. And again, you can tweak here. So just click on the pressure and you can move this up and down. And as you change that, change it there. And you can see, now unfortunately you do get this weird sort of, because of the overlap in the way it works. But you can see you can create some really beautiful designs and just then click there. So you've got that. Also what you can do if you want, and you don't want to use this pressure bit, so you can click there. You can also go for this option. Now you can't use this with pressure, which is a pity. I don't know why, but it doesn't seem to be available. So just click here. And now as soon as you do that, you notice it's gone and you can just tweak this. So you can say, oh, you know what? And as you change that, you can see what happens then. Just by changing 0 0.5, 0 point, you get a variety of really unusual designs just by doing that. Maybe change this. Maybe go for this one and so on. You can create a variety of different designs that way. Also, you can change the cap. So just go through there, click that one or click that one. Just try them out. Maybe go for a line. Just change that. Sometimes it obviously depends on the actual whether it will work or not. Also, what you can do, again, just change that. And of course, you can see all these lovely dots that have just appeared there. And or maybe increase it, go the other way, go to 80 or 90, and you might decide, you know what, that's a much nicer response, result. Right, once you've got that, you can see the end result there. And of course, the design is still live at this point. You can still go in here, and you can just tweak it, to select all of those. And you notice at this point, I've got no filter of the uh, FX. So click here, FX. With that, I can go here and say 3D. So 3D, turn that on. You can see you can create some very weird sort of circular designs like that. And change the ambient, change the direction. And maybe click here, profiles, just select different profiles to create different results as well. Click close. And you've got something like that at the end of all that change. But of course, what you can also do, once you've got all this design, is you can always, of course, select them all. They're all selected like that. You can always right click and then you go to group and then you can rasterize it because you might want to use it maybe for something else. Maybe you decide, you know what, with this group, I can hold down the alter option key and I can duplicate it. Now, of course, by doing that, you're just creating a lot more layers. So you might want to undo. Probably if you're going to duplicate it, I would suggest best, unless you've got a very powerful machine, is probably go to layer and then go to rasterize. So it's all rasterized into a single pixel layer. Now, when you move it, if I hold down the ultra option key and drag, you can see the duplication is a lot smoother, a lot quicker. But it does mean, of course, this design you can't change. So just get rid of those, just go there. But of course, another thing you can do, you can always then go to filters, distort and deform. Or other filters, of course, are available, or colors. And then you can manipulate this design in even more ways to create some truly weird and wonderful things just by adding these little pins, click apply, and then maybe go to filter, repeat, deform, and so on to create even more unusual shapes and designs. Hope you found this tutorial of interest. Any questions, please let me know in the comments below. Always great to hear from you. Bye.